So we are at the home stretch of the Eastern Canadian Conference, and I'm here with Dave Johnson. Dave, what are we looking at here? Well, how are you doing, Todd? What we're looking at is our latest development that we are bringing to market here at the end of first quarter. This is the AutoSync VVS, which is the Vehicle Visualization Studio. It is what today's consumers expect. It's simple, intuitive, to the point, and it allows people to shop and get that complete experience right through their mobile phone or their desktop. Mm, yeah, and it, it looks incredible. Why would you say this is far superior technology to anything else on the market right now? Well, first off, I would have to say it's the, the way in which we built this. This is all cloud-based technology. It utilizes artificial intelligence, optical recognition. It, it generates dynamic content on the fly, which is what Google needs for you to be relevant in the search engines. And it's something that we can add on to and grow from. So it's the foundation of, a, of an exciting future. Mm, agreed. Why don't you, um, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about you, Dave? Okay. Well, it's great to meet everyone. My name is Dave Johnson. I'm the director of technology at AutoSync Corp. AutoSync is a fast moving tech company out of California. We've been building out new emerging technologies strictly and specifically for the automotive aftermarket. I've got 25 years in the industry working with wheel and tire manufacturers, retailers, retail chains, e-tailers. I've been involved in over 60 large website launches and I'm a member of the wheel and tire council and it's great to meet everyone. That's, that's me. What, what I'm here to talk to you guys about is, is the shift that's happening in our industry, in your industry, and how little by little sales and opportunities are getting chipped away by direct to consumer programs by third party retailers, uh, example, like uh, Amazon and companies like Simple Tire. And then also the sub segment market. This is the niche markets, the people exploiting truck packages and uh, tuner packages and American muscle packages. All of this combined over the next five, six years is going to mean about a 40 to 50% um, chip away from your current business. Now, all that means is we've, we've got to address it and adapt. So the main thing that we're, we've learned is that users' expectations <laughs> are set by companies like Amazon on how simple is better than free, simple is better than cheap, intuitive experiences win. That being said, our focus from the very beginning has been from the consumer's viewpoint. How do they want to engage? And in doing so, we've been compiling all the content. We built vehicle customization tools that will generate an image with the wheels on the vehicle, the color of the vehicle, and serve those right to the tire craft sites. We have also been spending a lot of time working with Todd and his team on what that experience is, is, needs to be and I'd like to present that to you now.
So as you can see here, very visual, but keep in mind we're using WebP, uh, highly compressed imagery to deliver this on mobile and desktop. We are doing multiple vehicle angles so people can really see and feel what their car is gonna look like when it's upgraded. And that, that um, visualization tied with the ability to see real-time products, available products, this is what people want. And, and that's, our, that's our focus. So as, as you can see, as, as you watch this, there's no instructions. We try to make it extremely intuitive. And because of that, we're excited about being able to, to bring this to, bring this, uh, to market. Um, it's the first step, what I just showed you. It's phase one. But over the next coming months, we're going to be rolling out tools like dynamic ride height. So you can show lifted and leveled trucks. We're bringing out animation so you can show the exact tire size that someone shopping for, not just an image of that tire that might be a 17 inch when they're looking to buy a 20 inch. They look different, they're expensive, and the end user in a sense demands that they get to see what they're gonna buy. So that's just a real uh, 20,000 feet view of what we're doing.